Hello, this is a tutorial for a serious game called Adventures of a Process Mineralogist. My name is Berti Lamberg and I'm a prof I'm professor in uh, Geometallurgy in Lulea University of Technology. The, the game is to learn to use process mineralogical tools to solve problems. And there are three possible reasons which uh, 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 for problems in processes and the first one is uh, related to geometallurgy so that there's a variation within the ore body and the plant feed is basically changing unexpectedly and therefore the metallurgical response is somewhat surprising which can be seen in uh, lowering recovery or uh, process uh, the, the concentrate grade the second relates to the uh, process problems. Some unit operation is not working properly. And the third one is then the uh, that the op operator is not running the process in the best possible way. Now in these games which I can uh, we consider reasons one and two and it's very difficult or practically impossible to solve the, these problems if there is no base case survey available base case survey I refer here to the case where the plant is operating well and uh, and then uh, the, uh, the plant has been surveyed and there are detailed mineralogical information for the uh, different streams. So this uh, in this game you have access to a number of different kind of research methods for mineral identification for analyzing chemical composition of minerals, analyzing modal composition, particle size distribution, and particle composition and liberation. And these techniques, uh, they are totally 12. They are listed here. Each of them has a time. What is, uh, how long does it take for the assays to complete? and each has a price tag. In addition, you should be aware of detection limit and standard deviation. Here in this table, the parenthesis indicates that it's a relative standard deviation. And if there's no parenthesis, then it's standard deviation. And the price which will be rewarded uh, for each successful case, you are rewarded uh, 5,000 euro and half of the expenses are covered. And if you give right suggestions to improve uh, the process or get by of the problem, you are additionally rewarded uh, 2,500 euros. And then the first team which solves the problem will get 5,000 euro bonus and the second one 2,500 and the last one 1,000 euro. And this is one example of the game played. We played then four rounds and then these different teams where how their cash flow, uh, uh, what happened to their cash flow uh, in different rounds of this game. And this blue one was all the time answering right. So they get all the time uh, positive increase. Whereas the green team failed in the fourth case to come up with, uh, with the right answer and that's why the cash flow dropped here and the final the winner will be in the game to getting highest cash flow after the uh, last round this is one example and which I'm going to demonstrate here it's the iron process and it's very simplified so this ore which is fed into the uh, stage of liberation so base uh, this is a crushing and grinding stage and crusher product is sent to the classifier coarse material returns back and then fine material goes to the concentration which includes magnetic separator and uh, flotation <coughs> then concentrate is dewatered and final product product is uh, uh, dried concentrate you will get each time a uh, production information, daily production information 
for the ore in concentrate, this one, and then the tailing. And then you have also available the flow rates of each streams. This gives the information of the ore. It's a magnetite ore and uh, has some ilmenite, a little bit of apatite, albite, actinolite, biotite, diopside, quartz, orthoclase and pyrite. And this is the base case information showing the grades by size. We went through these other different process stages, so the concentration includes magnetic separation and flotation. You need some uh, formulas or how do you solve these problems is that uh, you maybe the first thing you calculate is the recovery and these are the formulas and I take the next slide so these are the formulas to calculate the recovery so uh, cosi fan tutte fasi con tutte rule here feed is uh, f is feed concentrate c is concentrate and t is tailing so this uh, formula simple formula you can calculate the to calculate the recoveries because you won't get the recovery information that is not available you need to calculate it when you uh, refer your case this is where you would place the reference case so concentrate grade is as expected and recovery is good and then normally you experience a case where the recovery is dropped which means that you are below this operational point and it also can include that the grade is also decreasing so you can you can be on this side or even most of the cases you are here this curve shows the operational points which with the same ore and grinding you could uh, operate but normally in this game you will find that the point is somewhere here and you need to find out the reasons and how could you correct the situation in a way that you get, could get back on this line. Uh, you can use this uh, decision tree for solving the problems. So I'm encouraging you to think about different scenarios, different uh, hypotheses, different uh, possibilities why this kind of problem is experienced and then finding out which which streams you need to sample which method you need to apply uh, to solve that and then one by one shooting down the possible problems and then finally getting getting the uh, right one and which you can then answer and let's let's just uh, play one round in the game so you start the apm.exe and first you should do that changing the the name of the of the team so i call this team gold and then i'm opening the case what is to be played and uh, different circuits are you can find in different folders so this is now simple iron process and this base case gives information of the base case so that this you use as a reference but now we play low iron in concentrate when going inside that there's a file which is a apm file and opening that there comes information that this is low iron in iron concentrate and the same information can be found also here so this is the daily information and if we look the concentrate is 66.06 so let's compare that to the base case so and now I'm going here to this simple iron and base case and there's a bitmap here, which I will open now. And uh, Photoshop 
is opening and it shows now that the concentrate grade is 67.9 so there's a drop from 67 to 66 and you should calculate whether the, the recovery has been dropped or not we don't do that now just just showing how this work technically goes so then you should make a different uh, hypothesis what can go what can be wrong once this concentrate iron grade has been dropped so uh, let's think uh, let the first we look the option that this is cause grinding is cause and this cause is the problem here so we select here the stream Anregnings ingoende and we select then uh, particle size analysis which is then PSD with laser. I'm making a purchase order and it shows that this takes three hours and the cost is 55 euros. To see the analysis I press this one and now the analysis pops up. Okay this is the information of the size distribution now comparing the base case, I'm clicking this base case tab and then this all tabs are available and now I'm comparing the PSD with laser and this is the stream to compare. I'm pressing Ctrl C to copy that and pasting it below here just to see that whether there is a difference. There is difference whether this is significant, uh, you can look the info and assay methods and particle size distribution with laser, detection limit 0.1 and relative standard deviation, this negative means relative, so 2% relative uh, standard deviation between different methods. I can get back to this uh, uh, information I go to game lock and then I'm double clicking this link and it opens back so this was uh -huh, I lost now this information so I copy again this one and getting back here so relatively 2% difference and you can easily see that it's not bigger than that one that's why we reject the possibility that this is a problem because of course a grind. Okay, then we consider a possibility that there has been happening, there's a change in modal composition here. And uh, the iron, there is a uh, iron distribution is not favorable. So we could take here or here the sample. Let's go take it under index in Goende and we take modal composition and there are several options minerals by optical microscopy, XRD, XRD read weld and, and modal by MLA so let's take this read weld and we make a purchase, purchase order and see the assay so now this is the modal composition and let's have a look of here the ingo and the, what is in the unreckless ingo and the, how it is in base case control c we seem to have a lower magnetite head grade albite actinolite biotite so could this explain that we have a lower iron uh, this is difficult to say we should probably compare the concentrate so let's make the next analysis on here on the concentrate for the modal analysis concentrate and then minerals by XRD read weld and make a purchase order so 86% magnetite if we just compare that to base case uh, concentrate here uh, 
there's a quite big difference in the magnetite. Something you also realize here that the sum is not 100%. So this method with the reed weld is maybe is not good uh, enough. But this seems to be a big difference. So let's look the how this reed weld. So minerals with XRD reed weld detection limit one percent and its relative standard deviation 6%. So back to here. The difference here is bigger than, oops, I lost that. I need to go back, game lock. And then the third one, and let me copy back from this concentrate here. Control C and here, the difference is bigger than 6%. So it's true that there's less magnetite and there's more uh, doubled the the, um, uh, the gang mineral grades have been doubled. The option that the this would be a change in com chemical composition of magnetite doesn't seem to be the one who may which makes the iron lower. So is this then the liberation problem? Uh, now we take Andriknings in Goende, plant uh, the feed to the concentration, and then we take mineral liberation analysis. Make the purchase order C assay. And now we found out that the liberation, degree of liberation of magnetite is 83. And now what is in the base case? Now we are here. So magnetite is, now we need to check because this is a very big list. So this shows all the streams. That first one was water stream. This is the ore, fresh ore. This is tailing. Then comes uh, concentrate. Come on. This is the one. So we find that in base case, the liberation is 85. And reading this in going there, and now 85 to 83. Is this difference significant? It's 2%. You should now calculate the recoveries and think about that. Let's say we decide that this is the problem once we have done some additional analysis. So we are ready to answer. So we press this one and we say the problem is in OR and then we need to give a clear answer. Liberation of magnetite is poorer than in base in the base case. Uh, this is not because of coarser grinding but must be related to ore texture. And how can we solve these problems? Finer, finer grinding. And okay. The game now uh, saves a log file. And please carefully check the location of this. And then you send this log file to to, to the place uh, where the instructions have given to be placed that one to send it by email or in the uh, teaching environment and then you are ready to file open the next problem hope you enjoy the play to uh, playing the game bye